Welcome. For the first time ever, you are being coached by artists who have fought through this competition and come out on top. Only one of you will join their elite rank, earning $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Yeah. Nice. For your first Flash Challenge, you will win as a team or lose as a team. So you must work together. Of course, always family. This week, we're testing fundamentals. Fundamentals are the basic elements that an artist needs to have down. It's strong line work, bold color, and smooth black and gray. If you don't have those, you shouldn't be tattooing. Today, you must create a massive image using only colored water. That's crazy. Is it too late to leave? We're getting struck by crazy. lightning for sure. We got this, though. We got this, guys. We got this. Each team will have approximately 10,000 cups. Using only food coloring and water to create different shades and blends, you need to fill and arrange the cups to bring a single enormous image to life. The last time I put cups together, I was playing beer pong. I don't think that's gonna help this competition at all. But a team is only as strong as its leader. Coaches, you must lead your teams every step of the way because you alone will have a bird's eye view of the design as it takes shape. Every mistake is on your shoulders. So it's up to you to coach your team in the right direction. I'm scared of heights. There's a lift. This is horrible. It's all on me, because if it looks like and I had the perfect view of it, I led them to make something that looks like I'm not sure if the other coaches have the experience I have in leading a team, but we're going to find out with 10,000 cups very quickly. Fail to communicate, and your team's image will be an unreadable mess. Every member of the team needs to hustle, get a game plan, and go big. You don't have to do tattoo designs. You can make great art. Today looks like it might be pretty rough. No time to complain. You're here. This is what you signed up for. No slacking. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Control of the game can make or break you, so every advantage is essential. You will have five hours, and your time starts now. Let's go. Let's go. All right, my man, let's see if there's surrender. All right, where's paper? This is the first time we're seeing these teams work together. Need the biggest guys filling buckets because them things get heavy, dude. We're going to see if these coaches have the faith and trust of their teammates. You're going to get wet. Don't think about your clothes, your shoes, your nothing. Make art. This challenge is testing fundamentals. They need to make a clear, strong, legible image. We're going to run these buckets right here. Start over there. The team that follows the leader the best is going to be the most efficient. I think dynamic, but we've still got to keep it fundamental. For an eye, we yeah. can make it look realistic from far away. And just one big ass eye. Yeah, what, are we, what, are, what are we going to show? That's too it's simple. simple. The iris is going to be the only thing. Oh, they're already putting out cups. Pull that tape measure straight. Then we're going to line the cups up with that tape measure. Hey, are we up too far? No, we're good. It don't matter how far we're up. Yeah, but don't Got forget, you. you're gonna be looking. You're gonna be looking on the angle. Right. Okay. Garrett. Yeah. Focus on keeping it tight so we can see the layout. All right. Yeah. Yeah. As a team, we're deciding to create a beetle. I draw beetles all the time. I'm obsessed with insects. Well, we're gonna do the shell in green. Someone has to take charge. Having a lot of siblings, I've kind of learned how to be a good mediator. Let's go, Gary. Let's go, Jeremy. Let's go. Fill them up, bro. Come on, guys. Let's go around. Let's do this. Focus on laying cups down. Don't worry about the green. You just stand there, standing there. Come on, help out. Bro, everybody slow down for a second. We're going to be doing that marble bust, right? Blacks and grays. We have a well-orchestrated system. We've got Matt under the table doing the drawing. Deanna's got buckets of tones and blends all pulled out. Me and little D are taking the responsibility of gridding out this entire area. Get all these numbers in there first. Let's make the grid, and then we'll start looking at it. All right. Frank's over there apparently knows numbers better than anybody. 64 cups per square per quadrant, basically. I don't see this going wrong. Four hours remaining. Lift me to the heavens. You hit your growth spurt. You're at adult height now. Can we get a poncho with a pattern on it for Steve? Maybe a dragon poncho or something? Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, Stop. Are we done? So what I'm going to tell you guys right now, we're thinking we might have to move the whole design down here. Move it? It's a little far away. I thought it would be high enough, but it's not. I told you. I told you. What do you mean oh, far man. up? Because you're looking at a different angle. You're far away. Let's go. Let's move this faster. That's the chaos right there. You win some, you lose some. The best way to do this is just like tattooing. Get down the darkest pigment 
and build up to the lights. Dark, medium, light, medium, dark. They're just putting down cups, and I'm just painting the picture. They're calling me the blend daddy now. They're going to be calling me the tat daddy tomorrow. It's tough, because you're looking at it upside down, you know? It's tough because I'm doing it with water in general. <laughs> <laughs> just get the drawing on the ground. We need that mat now. Here. Now we're at a stopping point. We got to wait for you. Getting there. Josh Payne's starting to get frustrated with me that I'm not drawing this thing as quick as he wants. Don't worry about every cup. That, that's our job. You just get the drawing on the ground. Josh, why don't you just run your dark lines in the whole square? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My team is such strong personalities. I got to tone them down a little bit, make sure they're listening to me. That's the only thing that's going to keep us together and get us to the end. What are they doing over there? A face. All the cups that they have down right now are just black. I think they're going to run out of time. Two hours remaining, guys. Work, my little ants. Do this. Speed and efficiency, that's what these challenges are about. Does this look OK? Yeah. Go to the black on the mouth. Make it a little bit of a line with brown. They're snapping it together. They're a lot closer to being done than we are. It looks like a face? Yeah. Teamwork, my friends. That's how we do it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Yeah. It's a beautiful eye. You guys wrapped that up quick. You guys crushed it. Pillow, great. <laughs> oh, That's what I'm talking about, team. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, time to critique your work. Team Anthony. Your strong points are nailing the proportions from the size of the pupil to the eyebrow and everything in between. The area that you really hit the fundamentals is your color palette. It really shows an excellent use of blending colors, creating color, and making it play well in such a vast space. They did an eye. Everybody can draw an eye. It's simple. Show me something that I'm going to be afraid of. Team Steve. Fundamentals are shown here. You got nice color blends, a little bit of negative space here in the body of this beetle, which really gives it some dimension. Your outline stands strong. The symmetry in the outline really looks good. It has a lot of great contrast. It's a great job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Steve's team, the design is very basic. We're here to do artwork, not tattoo flesh. Team DJ. I love the border. I love the concept of making it a stamp. With all this dark background and this framing, it really pushes the bus forward. The really heavy shadowing in the bus stands out from a mile away. Even the meticulous nature in which you put the two cents in here, really detailed. You did a killer job. No line work. Thought it was fundamental. This edge is missing. Half the cups don't have water. Three in between each. Count them. You can't hate on this thing, dude. Listen, I'll say it outright. You're going to have to pull things off like this to get your moment of shine. That's just where it's going to go. Thank God. I don't think there's any need to deliberate. I think we're all agreed. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is